What is up guys, Turpin495 back and I have the next episode, episode 14 of Top Road Cars S Class. We are reviewing the LFA on this brilliant return of Top Road Cars. I know it's been a little over a month since I've done an episode. I just have been very busy with a whole bunch of stuff, school start and all this stuff, and haven't really had time. So over this weekend, I have gotten a ton of videos ready for you guys for this next week. This first day, you guys are going to be seeing two videos of top road cars. And this is the LFA. We're going to jump right into it here. We got a speed of 8.3, which is mild for the S-Class supercars that we have reviewed in the past. It does have a 5.8 handling, which is really good for the car. I think it does have a bit of oversteer with the horsepower. It's really light, so the power-to-weight ratio on this car is a little bit higher than you would see on a normal S-Class car. Now, the acceleration is 8.3. That is really good for how light and how much wheel spin you do get. And... I love the launch on this car, and the car, I'm just going to say this, the car, the lines on this car are really beautiful. I like this car. Um, the launch is 7.8, and braking is 5.0. Now, the braking is so high because of the massive brakes that it has on it, and it does have 552 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque, which is very low for a front-engine rear-wheel drive supercar. I was not expecting the torque to be so low now it does only weigh 3263 pounds which is very light and as you can see there's a lot of wheel spin but it does get a nice zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds because it does put the power down really fast with those big tires it's got on it now it is 48 percent of the weight is to the front of the car and I i'm actually surprised with the front engine car it is um evened out really nice um the weight transfer in this car is beautiful and um the handling is but mild to high on this car um, top speed on this car is 199 miles an hour I don't know if you probably go on La Mans you'll probably get around 200 miles an hour on this car now the brakes as I was saying they are massive rotors these ha this car has 15.4 inch carbon ceramic brakes on the front and 14.2 inch carbon ceramic brakes on the rear I mean that's massive for an average car that you would see on the street and um, for a supercar like itself it is average size um, and it is naturally aspirated so there's no supercharger or turbocharger at all on this car lateral G's is just under 1G at 0.98 G's that again is average for a front engine rear wheel drive supercar like itself now the quarter mile time was little higher than I was expecting. I was expecting like high 12. It ended up running a 12.445, which is compatible with the American supercars that we have tested in the past. And I, I was actually surprised that it ran that fast with all the wheel spin. And it did cross the line at 127 miles an hour. But once the car hooked up on the quarter mile, it just took off because, again, the car is so much lighter than a lot of the other cars that we have tested in the past because this car is almost completely carbon fiber and aluminum. Now, the front tires on this car are 265 and the rears are 305. Now, that is a big difference. If I would have to change anything on this car, I would have to put about 275 or 285s on the front. That will increase the handling. And on the rear, I'm probably going to keep those at 305s because 305s are, again, about the average size for a rear wheel drive supercar um, because they get the grip down really well. And this car sounds beautiful because it does redline at 9 thousand rpms and as you guys did see i did not catch the time we will catch the time here at the end it was a I believe a 118 8 a little slower than i was expecting but it did run that slow because of the oversteer in the corners because when i'm getting on the gas coming out of the corners i couldn't get into the gas fully because it was so light and it would just start sliding and we come around the last corner here with the LFA crossing the line please like the video and subscribe if you're new the total time on that was a 118.850. This is Tarpon95, and I'm out of here. Peace.